two common errors that persons get is that they use get text and they are returned an empty string or they use get value and get null. You may think that you can use get text and get value interchangeably. However, if you do so, you may end up with these errors. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to avoid getting these errors and helping you understand when to use get text versus get value. Let's get started. The get text command allows you to retrieve text from a DOM element. If we look at the example that we have here, it shows us a div and it contains some text. It is a DOM element similar to the login page header text that we will be using in our example. What we can do is use the element locator and say get text and it should return the text of that DOM element. Get value is a command that returns the value of a text area or a select element or it returns the text of an input field. If multiple elements are found, it will return an array of values. So we can just get the locator and say get value. So if we have an input field and it has a value of John Doe, if we get the value of that, it will return John Doe. So if we go now and take a look at the username field, we will realize that it is an input field. And so we will need to use get value for it. In our test, we have a get text and a get value demonstration. And we are going to go to the browser.url internet through the app login. Let's use the h2 locator and check that it returns login page. And we're going to use the get text command. So we're going to expect the subheading to equal to login page after we get the text of it. For get value, we're going to go to the same URL, but we're going to be using the locator for the username. We're going to wait for it to be displayed, and then we're going to set the value to Julia. And we're going to use the command get value because it is an input field. If we run our test, we can see where it enters the value Julia and both our tests pass. Let us now see what will happen if instead of get text, we use get value on the h2 locator. So if we run that, we will see that we get an error. And the error says expected null to equal to login page. This is because we are trying to get the value on a DOM element when we should be getting the text of the DOM element. And if we do the same thing to get value where we have get text instead, we will get a different error, but it has the same cause. We'll get the error expected Julia to equal to empty string. This is because we are trying to get the text of an input field when we should be using get value. So we can go ahead and change back what we had before. And if we run our test again, everything should pass. Persons also ask if they can use the get attribute command. If you check out the tutorial in the description below, I will explain to you what get attribute is and the scenarios in which you should use it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.